like subscribe and press the bell icon for more videos from phn learn for more videos download our app from the play store hello everyone welcome back to the android studio development tutorial provided by phn technology private limited so in the last uh, session we learnt to make a login activity so we made a activity and we designed it to create a login page now today we are going to learn about the next point that is layouts so let's begin so as you can see this is our code that we have done in the last session so we had designed a login page where we had added text view we had added edit text and we have added button controls now before doing these changes we had done the changes in this first tag of our activity that was constraint layout to linear layout so by default here it was written as constraint layout and we changed it to linear layout now what was that constraint layout and why did we changed it okay. so layouts are the formats in which your control should be stored or your control should be displayed now for example let's say you have a blank wall and i have given you some three four objects that you have to place on that wall can you place it directly no right because there is no containers there are no space to hold the object so what we'll have to do is we'll have to create some shelves in that wall and when we create those shelves the order in which we are creating the shelves let's say if i'm creating the horizontal shelves shelves or if i'm creating the vertical shelves or i am creating the minus slanting manner in haphazard manner so in the way in which you are creating your shelves your objects will be saved in that manner only similarly our screen here is also a completely blank thing okay it is a blank wall with no any components no any shelves in it now i have to place my components so i cannot place my components anywhere on the screen right because I, if i have a certain design for example first it should ask for username after that it should ask for login and then it should show the login button will it look nice if it is asking for the password then it is showing the login button and then asking for the username no right so we have a particular design which we need to fit there is a particular sequence of all the components that should be present on your screen this sequence all other things are decided by the layout because the layout provides us the divisions in the whole screen the whole screen is divided because of layouts so in android we have different types of layouts available okay so let's study about these layouts one by one so the first layout that we are going to learn about is relative layout now what is the use of relative layout so uh, i'll just simply delete all the components present here okay okay great so i again have an empty activity here and i want to use relative layout instead of linear layout what happens in relative layout now when i'm using a relative layout all the components are in relation with one another for example here i have played a text view yeah text use t should be capital yes wrap content wrap content and i have given the text property to this text view welcome to app okay so this text view is shown here now if i have to place one more text view the so text view wrap content wrap content i closing close the text view and then text second text view okay so see here what has happened if you can see the output screen see both the text views are displayed on one above the other okay so welcome to app is on the same position as well as second text view is also displayed as the same position because we are using a relative layout and in relative layout what happens all the elements need to be given a position in relation to one another now how to give these relations as we haven't given them any relations any positions they are placed at position 0 0 okay so this is the 0 0 position of your screen both the elements are placed at the same position 0 0 now what i want is that below this 
text view welcome to app this second text view should be displayed okay so first of first of all i'll have to give id property to the first text view to identify it so how to give an id property id select the first suggestion at the rate plus id and then give id like say tv1 so tv1 is the id of this first text view and what is my requirement that my this second text view should be below this first text view so in relative layout we have a property layout below below which layout tv1 so see here it means what so now the second text view is placed below the first text view welcome to app what i have did is this is my first text view welcome to app i have given it an id tv1 now i want this second control below this first control so i have used the property layout below equals to tv1 means this text view is below the tv1 and tv1 is the id of this text view hence it is appearing below okay so here what we have did is we are placing this second text view in relation to the text view one okay for example if now this is the text view one text view one is placed in relation with the screen okay and this second text view is placed in relation with the first text view now if you have to add a button okay so if you simply add a button it will be added at the position 00 I want to place it after this second text view. So first of all, I'll have to give an ID to the second text view. ID. Take out the first suggestion. Let's say TV two. Now what I want is like this button should be below second text view. So below layout below. What is the ID of the control TV two? So it is now below text view two. Okay. This is. relative layout relative layout is used in case if you are having a fixed design now see what is the drawback of this layout is if you have more number of controls to place your code becomes very complicated because all the elements are in relation to one another just like we have used below you can use above of okay so if you want if you have a control here let's say i have one more button and i want this button to be above the tv one it should be at the top so here you can give property like layout above of tv1 okay so it will go above the tv1 but now the problem is our we haven't given any position to the, to the tv1 okay that is why it is at 0 0 so this tv1 should be below this button so for this button also we'll have to give id let's say btn1 and now we will go to the tv1 and here we will say below btn1 for more videos download our app from the play store